At the start of the game, Freddy got through this net by pulling a plug off of this bottle. Freddy now has the plug in her inventory. She'll need that plug in order to get the golden pipe on the beach. The beach is over here. You're going to go left twice and then to the right. See the golden plug? It's right here in a tree! How did it get all the way up there? Hey, one of the golden pipes is stuck in that banana tree. That looks like it would be too high for us to jump. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis, the raw power of my mind. Ooh! Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana. I guess place. Luther's brain is not powerful enough. And it's kind of funny because an airplane lifted up from the sea when Luther was concentrating. I, I think that's silly. If I evolve into a primate, in just a few million years, I could be up that banana tree lickety split. Oh. Uh... Why don't we try and think of a more immediate solution? Yeah, we don't have millions of years to wait, Luther. However, we do have somebody to meet here at the sea. It's Magenta the Monkey! Though I would not call her Magenta, I'd call her Blue, because she looks pretty blue right now. Are you okay? I'd be better if my boat hadn't sprung a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana trees. I wish I could get over there. Hmm. Perhaps we have something to stuff in the hole so you could hoist your sail. That would be stupendous! Then I could get moving again. The item Freddy's talking about is the plug she got going through that fishing net. My poor leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. Okay, Luther. Let her rip! Good news! The hole plug! Uh, the bad news is I ripped your cell badly. No, it looks like you ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your cell fixed. We promise. Oh, Luther. Wrecking the sail. We need to find somebody who can fix sails. And that somebody is Pierre the Tailor. Let's go back to him. He was in the town square. Over to the left. Over here, over here, here's where Pierre is. So Pierre, can you fix this ripped sail? Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Whoa! Oh! Voila! C'est fini! Fini! Well, he said to say it. Sheesh! Alright, that was a silly joke. C'est fini! That's French for, it's done! But Luther thought he was saying, C'est fini! Like finny fish! Okay. So let's take a, a minor break here. Instead of giving that sail right back to Magenta, I'm gonna go to the right, and then... Step right up, 
skills and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Okay, we're gonna go to the right, and then we're gonna go left to the fun house. Hmm, this looks... Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. This looks cool, but I'm going to ignore it and go to the left. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. And check it out. We have a golden pipe. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right. But how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. I'm sure glad I didn't ask. So this is a numbers puzzle. It's orange, right? It's in an orange spot, so we can move it one, two, or three spaces. Let's try three. It looks like the orange sponges move the golden pipe closer now to us. Now it's on a blue sponge, so we can move it two, four, or six. You'll notice if I try to move it two, it hits a plug. And if I try to move it six, it also hits a plug. So I'm going to have to move it four. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer let's to see. us. see. Let's move it six this time. Outstanding! One, two, three. So I'm going to move it three because it's on an orange sponge. This seems and to then be two, working! We'll take it to the exit. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Soggy can sniff out All the All right, feet. and I know where that pipe is. It's still on the beach, waiting for Magenta to grab it. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. That poor little fish. That poor little fish. So, we have purple sea urchins in this game. There's one right there. And Gil Barker here was saying, if you get four purple sea urchins, you can go inside this room for the tumble tubes. And I'll be doing that in a later video. Sometimes there's a golden pipe in the tumble tubes. For now, let's return to Magenta. Uh, there's another purple sea urchin. Right there, right there. Woohoo! Purple sea urchin. But more importantly, purple sail. Here's your sail, Magenta. Hey, Magenta! We brought you something you really wanted. A banana split? No, it's the sail for your boat. Good as new. Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving! Oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Magenta. Hmm. I'm sailing! Look, Ma! I'm sailing! So, Magenta, could you get us this pipe? Magenta, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. Uh. 
Thanks a lot, Magenta.